Uh, this video has nothing to do with most of the videos on my channel, which, which are about software and stuff like that. I'm in my backyard. Look at that cool little tree I planted seven years ago. And it's grown like a foot since then. No, it's actually doubled in size, but it's still pretty small. Anyway, uh, I wanted to make a suggestion. Again, this is, this is just me talking. I wanted to make a video about this, so I'm making a video about this because it's my channel. I can make videos about whatever I want. This hammock. When I, I moved out here, um, actually eight, eight and a half years ago, uh, to, to the swamp, uh, and one of the things I wanted was a hammock. Because uh, growing up, my dad always had a hammock, but I wanted a hammock, and my dad had one that had a, you know, the, the hammock stand that went in. I'm like, no, 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 I want one, and I'm just going to hook between trees, um, which is actually very hard to find because I moved in here in the fall, and most places in town back in 09 um, only sold hammocks in the summertime, which is because I live in Florida. It's like, what does it matter that it's summertime? And that's just what they did. Um, and I got a hammock like this, you know, which, which, you know, a beach hammock, I guess you would call it, where it's, it's ropey. And these aren't cheap. They're like, you know, a cheap one is probably 30, 40 bucks for this, you know, but it's nice. It's hard to get in and out of. If you have kids, they want to climb in with you and you feel like they're going to flip over. Now, I, uh, sometimes, occasionally go camping with my family and sometimes we just camp in people's backyards like this and uh, I hate setting up tents and everyone brings big old tents and air mattresses I also don't want to sleep on the floor so I quickly looked on Amazon and they had and again this is not a sponsored video or anything like that I'm not even going to say a name brand or anything like that there's very lots of different companies that make these I got one of these hammocks and uh, they make different ones and um and they actually make ones with like mosquito nets on top or they, where they're kind of like um uh, uh uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I just said it a second ago. The thing you sleep in when you're camping. Um, a tent. Yes, they have little tents on top. Like, I got this thing. It was $11 on Amazon. Most of them are like $15 to $25. This one was $11. So it came, it came with the straps, the strap into the trees. And if you look at this, on the side it has this built-in little pouch. And everything, the hammock, the straps, the V-clips, all that stuff, fit into this pouch. Now I haven't tried putting it back in here since I got it. And I got it just, you know, in case I ever wanted to go camping, I'm just like, don't have to set up anything, just tie this thing to a tree and you can sleep in it. And it's actually pretty cool because when you get in it, you can actually like cocoon yourself. And it's nice if it's windy out, it protects you. It's kind of like a windbreaker. Uh, if it's sunny out, you can put this over your face and it's still breathable. Um, but it is awesome. And, uh, and I put it up just to test it out and I ended up leaving it up because it's actually more comfortable than that. And me and my son can both get in here and lay comfortably. He can actually climb in it without flipping over. And um, I don't know, again, how easy it is to put it back in this little pouch, um, but should be able to go back in there. And I mean, it's just, look how, look how small this is. Anyway, um, again, this is not a topic that I normally have on my channel. Again, I'm usually talking about tech stuff or computer stuff. So I guess this is tech, this is technology, you know. Um, but what I'm saying here is, if you have two trees and eleven dollars, this is worth it. Because I lay in this thing almost every day. I try to come out here for twenty minutes to an hour a day just to relax, you know, and just just get out in nature and look look up at the trees, look at the, look up at the tall trees. Um, and uh, I hung this one up just testing. I got it, you know, for camping and stuff. But I actually like laying it more than that one. And this one, this one is nice. Um, but again, if you're not careful, you will flip over. I once I was here had some friends over and they had a couple of kids and we had four or five kids laying long ways across this and my daughter decided to hop out and the other four kids <laughs> completely flipped over. The whole entire thing flipped before they hit the ground and they all poof. Um, and, and really this, sometimes I bring a towel out to put under my head and lay on because the rope really isn't all that comfortable. I mean, it is comfy, but not compared to that thing. This thing is super comfy. I, I didn't think it would be. Um, so if you, if you never laid in one of these, I suggest getting one and just laying 11 bucks, 11 bucks, Amazon Prime. And you know, I'm not promoting Amazon Prime. I'm not promoting a particular brand of hammock, but like this style of camping hammock. And uh, they range in price a lot. Uh, but like I said the average, they're usually 15 to 25 bucks. And this one was 11 bucks. And it is great. You know, um, that one I always put away in the summertime. And I, I, I use it in the wintertime. In the summertime, I don't use it as much because, because the. Um, the cotton that it's made out of, uh, from what I've read, 
they fall apart. And here in Florida, it rains like crazy in the summer, and that thing will just fall apart. But this one I might leave out because it probably dries out real good. I'm assuming it's nylon. Um, it probably won't mildew and fall apart like that one. And you know, if it does, it's 11 bucks. I'll buy a new one, and next time, don't leave it out. But it's a lot easier to to, to put up because this thing when you know you, you take it down you have these big wood beams here and you're trying to carry it and there's a chain that you try to carry and it all falls apart this thing rolls up and I can carry it and bring it inside if I want I probably have it up in a couple of minutes super super easy anyway, it's just I've been so happy I got this thing maybe a month ago and I've laid it in it almost every day well actually at first I didn't I, I laid in it once and then I kept laying in that and my son would come out and he would lay in this one in fact he says it's his he'll lay in that and I'd lay in that and we'll just talk and talk and talk but then for the last like two weeks if he's not out here even if he is out here we'll both lay in that one you know I forget it does have a weight limit um, but me and my three-year-old son both fit in it fine I bet it could hold two adults I forget what the weight limit is um, but it is super awesome and I'm just so happy with it I wanted to share it with you guys so you know check those out you know just search hammocks and maybe camping hammock I think it was might be what I looked up and uh, and I told my son you know so now that I got one I like it I might get a second one and then in the future someday we, you know when he's a little older he's only three now but we'll camp out in the backyard we'll just put them up and sleep in them how awesome would that be oh the weather is so nice right now you know you're probably watching this video much later than this but it's I think last week was the first uh, day of spring here, and it has been super cool, which is nice, because the last couple of years here in Florida have been super hot and super dry, and I know uh, this winter, this, you know, last couple of months, a lot of people up north have had horrible, horrible winters. It's been nice down here in Florida, finally, and the fact that it's this late in the year and we're still getting nice weather where I'm not, I don't have sweat pits after being outside for, I think I've been out here for 40, 45 minutes now, um, is awesome. Anyway. So, off topic, but I thought it'd be nice to share with you guys. That's a banana tree. Banana, banana, no, no, it's not a banana tree. I'm always correct. It's banana stock. Got one up front, too. Maybe I'll be getting some bananas later this year. I hope. I hope. Anyway, have a great day.